It is finally here. A Sonic Tapestry, the first full album of my choral music, is being released on July 1st. And I am just ecstatic. I can't believe that it's finally happening. And I'm so excited for you to hear these pieces. And we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. And I wanted to take a couple of minutes just to acknowledge a few people uh, and just talk about the whole process because the process was just so spectacular all the way through. So first of all, I've been composing uh, since basically 2011, my junior year, sort of second semester junior year, I really started to feel like I was doing something. I, I had switched majors and uh, I started writing music and I f finally found a way to convey my feelings in a way that really made sense to me. And it's basically started on the path to where I am now, where I'm writing a lot, and it feels amazing. But one of the primary ways that I was able to convey uh, my artistic thoughts was through choral music. And I, over the past however many years now, 13 years, I've accumulated a pretty sizable amount of choral pieces, uh, and a lot of them are a cappella. So I thought, let's make a acapella album. So all but one piece uh, are acapella and the last one on the uh, on the album is just, you know, choir and piano, just kind of like a little bonus track. But everything else is acapella. So anyway, I started uh, the fall of 2022 thinking about, all right, I've been doing this for 10 years. Let's see, you know, what's the next big step? And I applied for the part-time faculty development fund at the University of Hartford where I work at the Hart School and I received a little bit of funding and I figured all right I got some money let's go let's do this thing it's now or never my wife and I we uh, you know we, we we're, we're at the time we're planning a, uh, having starting a family and and a baby on the way and you know if I don't do this now when when am I gonna get a chance to really do this so jump right in and the first thing that I thought was you know this this uh, this part-time faculty development fund it's a very generous amount but it's not nearly enough to re record an album so I reached out to the, the 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 folks the folks at large all of you and we started a GoFundMe and I was just floored I was just positively uh, words can't properly express the gratitude because we had completely funded my album goal in what 36 hours it was remarkable and we exceeded the album goal so i was able to pay all the singers more than i had thought i was able to pay the recording engineer way more than i thought and it was, it was great. So I wanted to take a moment, first and foremost, to just thank all of the donors. So I want to read your names. And um, yeah, thank you so much. Brian Byrne, Phyllis Kurz, Raymond Giolito, Joan Burr, Yelena Cipolanski, Ronald Kolonowski, Ala Abrukin, Stanley Liebline, Evan Anderson, Anne Shulman, Anatoly Zoyaruzny, Margo Sheehan, Valentina Gindler, Zenaida Kiku, an anonymous donor, Patricia Doyle, Anne Lewis, Tatiana and Victor Stolyarov, Herbert Menzel Jr., Frank Tedesco, Vivian Shulman, Gordon Diggs, Lisa Cox, Diane Paledri, Les Anders, William Palmer, Vladimir Zlotsky, Jessica Rudman, Michael Stubblefield, Hillary Slattery, Jason Smith, Alexis Hartman, Dane Auker, Liz Jelinus, Kyle Grimm, Dale Osterman, another anonymous donor, Allison Shapiro, another anonymous donor, Matt Anderson, Virginia Miller, and Brooke Shapiro. So all of you, thank you so 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 very much without you this would not have happened so 
you are awesome. <laughs> you are just so awesome. And each of these donors is going to be getting uh, a, a Google Drive link sent to them with the highest possible quality file of the recording and uh, a little letter, you know, just of, of thanks. Uh, I want to make a note about the anonymous donors. One in particular, um, you know who you are, but I won't. I will respect your wishes and you will remain anonymous. But they funded the album. I mean, it's like. It was it was just a, such a mind blowing, mind blowing generosity. I mean, a lot of folks, you know, I I, I was hoping for five bucks, you know, and some people really went above and beyond. It's just uh, uh, unbelievable. So thank you so 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 much. Thank you thank you thank you thank you so much. I also want to thank the incredible team behind the album. So the singers, world class. Man, I mean, seriously world-class singers, and I want to just acknowledge you guys. So, Jen McCann, Liz Bologna, Sarah Armstrong, Rachel Watson, Ab White, Alex O'Neill, Jack Anthony Pott, Ram Tyso, Jermaine Woodard Jr., Dylan Armstrong, and Greg Rizzo Flower. And I want to do a special shout out to uh, Jen Lampson, who was originally signed on to do the project as well. Uh, but unfortunately caught a bit of an illness at the last second and had to bail out. So sorry, Jen, that you uh, your voice isn't on the, on the album, but I will forever think of you as part of the team in spirit. And of course, none of this would have happened without the incredible recording prowess and mastering and excellent second set of ears from Kyle Grimm. Kyle Grimm, my uh, uh, colleague, friend, just incredible. What a, what a soul. And uh, really, wait till you hear what he has created here. The, the sound is unbelievable. Special thanks to the Congregational Church in South Glastonbury for offering up their space. And uh, Greg helped uh, get, the, get us in that room. And uh, we also had a little concert there, too, where 120 some odd people came out. I mean, whoa, I can't believe that many people like give a crap. So thank you for all of you who came out to, to hear the music. It's just uh, awesome. It's just very, this whole thing has been just so humbling. So now that we've talked about the financial foundation upon which this album was based. I want to tell you about the logistics. So we we got the GoFundMe sorted, all the money there, and then I started to think, all right, I'm going to get my team, I'm going to get those singers, and then we're going to schedule it out. And uh, by the end of the summer, we had scheduled a few rehearsals, and it really was just a few rehearsals. I mean, I think it was like four. Four rehearsals. We we banged out the, the stuff. We were su super efficient. I mean, these guys are real pros. Unbelievable work ethic and high the highest possible level of musicianship and then we had a couple of really intense recording sessions and a nice concert and then kyle and i started to piece together the tracks we did a lot of splicing a lot of real minutia just to get everything just right the best possible result uh with the material that we had and i have to tell you if you ever seek out to do a an album like this or something similar always have a second set of ears because Kyle caught things that I had never even considered so have always have a producer always have a second set of ears if you're gonna if you're gonna try to do an album like this but yeah we pieced together this thing and finally after many months we had really solid drafts of each of these tracks and then from there Kyle did his mastering magic and just a couple months ago we hit the, the, the green button and everything was good to go. And uh, I've, po I've posted a few uh, preview tracks on my YouTube. You can check those out. Or you can just wait until the album comes out. But, the yeah, pretty incredible. And so I sent everything out to uh, distribution through CD Baby. And now it has come. The time has come. July 1st, if you're watching it, if this video, Saturday or Sunday... You're you're almost ready. If you have if you're watching this video after the album is dropped, go to my Bandcamp. Go to basically anywhere that music is streamed, and check it out. Uh, if you want to buy the album, that's awesome. You can you can pay whatever you'd like. Uh, you can download it. Um, but yeah, this has been this has been great. This has been just great. 
What an incredible experience. I'm ready for the next one. Now I got to write some more music. So what do I hope to get from this album? I just want, I just really hope that this can put me out into the, the ether a little bit more. You know, after doing this for more than a decade, I hope that I'm getting better. I hope that my music is starting to show my vision, my artistic vision, and hopefully it's resonating uh, uh, with some folks. And if it's not, that's totally cool. I mean, I can't, con I can't control if you like or dislike my music. Um, but I hope that maybe it's maybe if you need if you need something, and my music can provide that something, then this would will have been a success. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy it. And thank you again for all the support. Uh, it's just, <laughs> it's very humbling. It's very humbling. And sometimes we get, we get locked in this, this feeling of, oh, I gotta, it's me against the world, man. I gotta just, I gotta just, uh, do, do everything. And, and, and you, sometimes you forget that you got a lot of people out there that have your back. Um, and this whole this whole process has, has showed me that in, in spades. So you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for all the support. Uh, check out the album, A Sonic Tapestry, dropping everywhere, July 1st. Uh, but go to my band camp, go wherever. Thank you so much. Have an awesome rest of your day. Bye.